My name is Safara. I work in Dr. Raymond Runyon's lab in the cellular and molecular department. The question that I am researching is can olfactory medium change the process of epithelial mesenchymal transition, also known as EMT? To do that, we conducted an experiment. One of the processes that we use in this experiment is cDNA synthesis. What is cDNA synthesis? cDNA synthesis is the ability to synthesize DNA from RNA templates. It is generated by reverse transcriptase, an enzyme that synthesizes the cDNA. It is amplified by polymerase chain reaction, more commonly known as PCR. I'll now be showing you a general protocol of cDNA synthesis as outlined by the company QScript. You need an RNA sample, QScript reaction mix, QScript reverse transcriptase, and nucleus free water. In my lab, I am working with Hep G2, which came from liver cancer. I am testing how different variances of olfactory medium proteins will change a difference in the process of e EMT from spreading the development of cancer. Extracellular protein that is produced in four different alternately spliced isoforms from a single gene. It contains a conserved 250 AA olfactory medium domain. Common M center domain with either A or B exons and Z or Y terminal. There are four different olfactomenian domains. Variant 1, longest isoform BMZ. It was found to induce additional neural crest cells into the embryo, a process which includes EMT. Variant 4, AMY shortest inhibit neural crest formation. Variant 2, AMZ. Variant 3 BMY. I tested gene marker SNAIL1. It shows that variant 3 inhibits EMT and variant 1 enhances EMT, especially the invasion cell. And now that we've learned the function of olfactory and variant 1 and variant 3, I wonder what the other variants are responsible for. If we could make a drug to block olfactory 1 variant 3, could it have some side effects?